So, the definition of magic is the power of apparently influencing the course of events by using mysterious or supernatural forces. How did the greats like Mutt Lang and Max Martin perform magic? Let's get out the scalpel, dive in, and find out next on Music Surgery with Dr. Bob. Hey, real quick, thanks for watching this week, and here I go begging for love and money. Sumner, that's not what we had on there. Please put... If you get the chance, go by my store and check out the party going on over there. And also, check out the Doctor's Lounge, where you can get great samples, stems, and one-on-one -on -one help with your songs, productions, and mixes. The links are below in the description of this video. Whether we're cutting bands live in the studio or programming tracks, it's our job as producers to make something great out of nothing. Finding the best artists, songs, musicians, programmers, and mixers is only half the battle. What I'm going to try to get across in this video is the other half of the battle. Training your ear to hear what's not there and to make a magic moment happen out of nothing. So. I'm appealing to your imagination here, which is the absolute most important part of whatever you do musically. This is the part in all of us that we really can't explain, but we know is there giving us our creative flow. Well, imaginations can be informed and taught as well as our analytical minds. So let me show you a few things to show your imagination what to look for, even if it's not there. All right, let me reverse engineer something that I did yesterday that's a great example of what I'm talking about. So, this is a second part of a second verse going into the chorus. So let me play you this. Yeah, I know it's hard to have this conversation But you worth it all, yeah, you worth the saving And I hear the words, I hear So, sounds really nice. We have the verse flowing into the chorus. I have a cymbal swell here to create some dynamic. Um, this is not the mix. This is the stage where I'm programming against the vocal. But let me show you something that is a moment that's not there that I wanted to create to give more impact, to give the listener another hook to set up the last chorus bigger and better. So even though this sounded great and flowed and was everything it could be, imagining something that's not there in manifesting that moment, creating that moment. So when I listened down, I felt this was too much time in this hole between her last vocal and the start of the chorus. So we have two bars there. Could have done a big drum fill, maybe. Um, could have done a number of obvious things. But letting it go just to flow into the chorus didn't sound cool enough. So instead of going the normal route of a drum fill, guitar fill, piano fill, string line, what I thought I would do is create another track. And let me take her last vocal line here. So let me get the just the say yen the a n part. Let me copy that down here. And let's try to throw it out here as some kind of delay. And let's copy that over. Obviously I'm locked to the grid here so it's 
locking to these spots. All right, that's cool. Now let me bounce this, make it all one file, and put a fade like this. I could do that with automation as well, but let me see what this sounds like. All right, let me turn it down a little. All right, already we have something much more interesting than the normal things that we would all throw at it. And there's a moment there that wasn't there. Now, let me flip to uh, the mix I did on the song. Uh, because after I figured that idea out, I mixed the song. And um, did a few more things to the song to make that moment even hit harder. So while that's loading up, I'm stalling. Okay, we've loaded up. Let me find my spot. Yeah, I know it's hard to have this conversation, but you were the Okay, so I've also put a bunch of this reverb on that effect. So let's listen to this by itself. Without the reverb. With. All right, now also, to get the point even more across, I cut everything else out. All of these keyboards, I cut out of the moment. So let me put those back in and play you. I took the bass out and these keyboards out. Here's what was going on under that. So obviously that little hiccup wasn't there because there's a fade. But now, with all of those gone, I just have this underneath our vocal moment. I also put this um, boom in. So, we're creating a moment of suspense, a moment that's quieter before the chorus comes back in full. A moment that wasn't there before. What was there before was fine. There was nothing broken about it. But using my imagination, I wanted to make that moment even bigger or smaller um, with more impact. So I've learned through the years, listening to other great producers and mixers and creators, where to listen for these moments that aren't there, but listen for moments that I can make something happen out of nothing. So, listen with the possibilities of finding moments in your music that aren't there yet and make them happen. Also, listen to Spotify or YouTube with this concept in your mind and you'll start to hear what other producers and mixers are doing to make magic in their art. Doing this will ultimately develop your imagination and will be the biggest asset you have as a creator. Well, that's it for this week. 
Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in.